All right, Steve Piscatelli, um, a sculptor here at uh, Maitland Art Center, and I'm a, a volunteer teacher here, creating uh, clay images that I turn into bronze. This is a figure sculpting class I teach, and um, my students have been making statues here for quite a while. We go from clay, this is a clay statue here, we use a model, then we do a mold of it. Here's a mold, a rubber mold over the clay, and then we put a mother mold to hold it all together. We take the clay out, and then we pour wax in and pour wax out. That way we have a hollow wax statue. Both sides. I clean it up weld it together, so the same image, closer to completion, and then um, dip this in a ceramic material for about a week, and then we burn it out in a furnace. We put it in a pit, pour melted bronze where the wax had once been, and then we let it cool down, we break it open, and this is what a female figure like this would look like when it comes out of the, the, uh, the furnace. So, this then, these are sprues, vents, pour cups, these all have to be cut off, ground down, polished. So from there, after a couple of days, it looks like, like this, which is still not finished, because then I have to go over and fill in imperfections. This is not an exact science, it's an art. I have to rebuild the hands. I had a lot of metal work to do yet. So going from here to here, or to the soldiers, is very uh, time consuming. It requires a lot of uh, work, knowledge, patience. And, uh, and money, quite expensive. Now, talking about urban art, um, diversification. There are very few statues of African Americans. Um, just hasn't been, uh, hasn't been enough. So I found a African American model. She posed as Sojourner Truth, who went to the New York Supreme Court and won a case. This is before the Civil War. An amazing thing. Uh, I would like to um, do people who stand out in history. Of course, my soldiers, I was one of them. Um, I want to be remembered for what I did. Uh, this is from hardly urban art, but this was urban art 30,000 years ago. This is from the cave painting in Lascaux, France. And it's the um, disemboweled bison with the dead hunter. Uh, for urban art, dance. Getting people, young people, off the streets and creating. A creative um, in endeavor is, is, one of them is dance. You get a dedicated dance teacher. This was Fernando Bajonas. He's uh, since passed away, but he was the artistic director of the Orlando Ballet. And I would sit in and create statues of ballet people, and I did one of him. I now have it in bronze. I did two, one of him at age 50 and one of them at age 22. Same pose, just aged, and one has uh, the costume he was wearing when he won the international competition. Another person, a uh, female skydiver, was going to break a, a world record for distance. She was wearing a, um, a Russian spacesuit. This didn't happen, but it was meant to commemorate it if it did. It has since been, uh, the record has since been broken by someone else. So for urban art, um, what more than a, a large sculpture 
would be better than um, graffiti or just having nothing in the middle of a park or a, or a town. So my, my work is, is urban sculpture. This would not work in the deep forest or even in a small town. So this is for urban, um, communi urban communities. It's for people to gather at. Uh, I noticed that some of my monuments or statues of dancers, like the one in Castleberry, people tend to gather there, eat their lunch, and discuss. I'll meet you at the statue, they'll say. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I do it. And I'm always looking for your non-traditional type of um, models. I have a woman with incredible strength who climbs, um, catches people on a trapeze. She's also a ballet dancer, also a rhythmic dancer, and very muscular. Some of them are very tiny, and, uh, but I like to capture the movement of the body. And I teach here on Saturdays, and we have a live model, it's a nude model, and we just, everyone works on it. It doesn't matter what your skill level is because you can have no skill at all, and we'll set up an armature and give clay and show you how to apply the clay, how to finish it, what you're looking at. We have a model, we have the measurements. Uh, we do it to scale, it's 18 inch height. Everyone works on the same, same armature, but they could be doing a reclining position, a dance position. We have a good model for our class. And then if you want, you can take it to bronze, or you can just leave it as it is. Or you can make the mold and do it in acrylic or plaster. There are different ways to do it, because the bronze is very expensive. And um, one of my students was 87 years old. She took the course. She died two years later, but she produced four individual bronzes that while she was alive were displayed in the museum and at nude night. So she, anyone can do it. If an 87-year-old woman who's never touched the stuff before can do it, then anyone. I've had students as young as uh, 13 here, but because we use a nude model, now has to be 18. And um, some of the students have gone on, used their experience here to get into college, uh, college art programs where their competition were displaying charcoal drawings and pottery. They were showing bronze and silver and gold. And they, they all got in, whichever school they applied for. Um, 